Hello everyone, today I'm going to teach you about string slicing. String slicing is a powerful technique that allows us to extract substrings from a string. A substring is just a smaller part or section of a string. String slicing enables us to extract specific substrings of a string based on their positions, providing us with more control over text manipulation. Before we explore string slicing, let's do a quick recap of indexing. So in Python, each character in a string is associated with an index, starting from zero for the first character, one for the second, and so on. You might remember this from previous videos where we referenced uh, list items by an index. Well, this can also be applied to strings as well. So meanwhile, over here, when we had our list and the first item in the list was zero, second was one, uh, third was two, the exact same thing applies for strings, except it's just for each character. Here's an example of string indexing. We can set message equal to hello python and we get a print uh, message and then the first character in that with index zero and for example we can also print message and then the seventh index and so the output will be h and p because uh, zero is the first one and then p is the seventh because we've got zero one two three four five six seven um, and so when we run this to prove this, we get H and P. Now that we've refreshed our memory on indexing, let's move on to string slicing. String slicing uses the same syntax as list slicing. It's string, and then in the brackets, you've got the start point and the end point. This just extracts a substring from the original string. Just like with lists, you'd get a sublist. Here's an example of basic string slicing. We still have our string here, and we can set a new variable called substring, and that can be equal to message of uh, uh, zero up to but not including five. So remember from list slicing, it starts with um, where you want to start and then the end point does not include the end point. So it's going from zero through four, not five. It just goes up to five. And so if we print substring, uh, we will get hello because we've got zero, one, two, three, four, and then not including this fifth character. We can also use negative indices to slice strings from the end. Negative indices count from the end of the string, with negative one representing the last character, negative two for the second to last character, and so on. Here's an example of using negative indices in string slicing. We still have our message, hello Python, and now we can create a new string and set it to message negative seven to negative one. This basically references the seventh to last character up to but not including the last character. Lastly, we can create a new substring and set it to uh, message colon and a negative nine. And so remember when you don't have a number on one side of the colon, it signifies onward or everything else. So in this case, we're setting it to everything up to negative nine. And so now we can just print these two. And as you can see, we get Python and hello. This is because the first substring we have, we start at negative seven. So we get negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six, and negative seven. So we start at negative seven, we go all the way up, but not including negative one. And then for message, we get everything from the beginning all the way up to, but not including negative nine. And so this was just done with negative indexing. So we've got negative one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then negative nine. So we're just not including this. So that's what this does. This actually is the exact same thing as doing this. Because in this example, we're just using positive indexing. And in this example, we're using negative indexing. So it really just depends on what you're doing. String slicing can also include the step parameter, which we learned in the list slicing video. And as you remember, this allows us to skip characters when we're extracting the substrings. So here's an example of this. Like before, we still have this variable and we can set substring equal to uh, message and then colon colon two. And so as you remember, uh, we now we're not putting any anything in these. So we're just signifying everything. So the entire string, but we're going by a step of two. So this would just print every other character. And as you can see, we get every other character because we've got this one and then skip this one, skip this one, get to this one, skip this one, we get the space and you know, 
In this example, we just use the step of two to skip every second character creating a new string HLOYHN from the original string. Uh, this is every other character in the string since we use a step of two. So a step of three would give us HLTN. Uh, hold on. HL space TN, just like that. And we could also just put numbers in the other parameter spots. So if we just change this back to two, um, we could also do one and 12. Um, and you know this from list slicing. And then we get EL colon PTL. This just starts at index one, which is E. It stops before index 12, and it goes by a step of two. String slicing finds its application in various tasks, including data cleaning, parsing, and text analysis. Here's another example. We can have a sentence variable, and that's equal to Python is awesome. And now we can set word one equal to sentence, and then everything up to six. We can set word two equal to sentence, um, and then seven up to nine, word three is equal to sentence 10 onward. And so let me print all of these. We get Python is awesome. And we've just extracted each individual word with our indices. Congratulations, you've now mastered the art of string slicing in Python. String slicing is pretty much the exact same as list slicing, just different data types. String slicing empowers you to manipulate text with precision and efficiency. Hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.